we're gonna bleach my hair because I was literally about to have a meltdown over how greasy and uh, tragic this whatever this is, okay? Every time, why do I let it get this far? Why? I mean, is this the best lighting? No, every time I do a bleaching video, it's literally the same. Nothing has changed. If we just are gonna open this thing up, okay? Which one is it? Yeah. I'm gonna use 30 developer. I always use 30, sometimes I'll use 40. By the way, everything that I did get is from Sally's, but I'm gonna mix the developer 30 with the Salon Care Prisms Lights in Violet. I'll link down exactly how I do all my bleaching and everything below because it's just repetitive nothing has changed i feel like that's boring literally the only reason why i'm filming this is because i feel like my hair has drastically changed since like two bleaching videos ago so anytime i go get questions about like how did my hair get so light i'm gonna bring it to this video let me show you guys the current state of course it is greasy but as of now it is up like a little bit like my nipples are probably right here and every time i've bleached my hair i have literally cut off exactly how much my root has grown so probably like this much or even like this much is how much I cut off last time, but I didn't film it I have the other half covered and if you guys watch my bleaching videos You'll know that I only do this because it literally takes me like 5,000 hours to bleach one side So I mean if I were to do the whole head So I always just do one side first and then wash it out and then do the other just so one side is not so sitting longer than the other and then it becomes all uneven and yeah we're pretty much just gonna get it started so I have the mix right here so if you want to see how I do you know all of that again I'll link it down below um also I'm an idiot and I didn't get gloves so I um please wear gloves we're just gonna simply apply right on it switched brushes because for some reason I was using an old brush that was crusty and wasn't as soft which I realize now it's very important to have a good brush because that one that I was using was very hard and was not effective mm -hmm. obviously has like the yellow tones I feel like it could easily be fixed with toner but I'm literally just gonna be putting pink back over it so it doesn't really matter to me I mean if you're gonna do this at home and you're gonna which don't you know go to a hairdresser but if you are gonna put pink in your hair especially if you're gonna do light pink you most definitely want to tone it a little bit and get rid of the yellow tones as much as possible because if you don't, you're gonna just end up with a lot of orange tones instead of pink. And since I am gonna put like hot pink over it, it's not really gonna matter. I mean, I've literally done this repeatedly over and over again and it comes out totally fine like a pink once it starts to fade. So that's why I don't really tone it. I mean, I can if I want to, but I'm just literally too lazy. And it is now 12 o'clock at night and I'm just gonna dye my hair tomorrow. I am just, again, way too lazy. I just want to relax so right now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna trim it a little bit since my hair is wet yes oh, you guys are gonna cringe because I am using nail scissors um this is how I cut my hair okay mind you I'm not cutting bangs I'm not cutting layers I'm literally like trimming the tiniest bit I might just take actually let's do the whole twist method and I'm literally just gonna let's see maybe that is how much I cut off does anyone see that okay that's literally it not that much hair like at all <laughs> I'm trying to film in a different room because I, this wall is really white so I really wanted to show you guys like how bright my hair really is and um, it's by a busy road so all these cars 
are so loud so i'm sorry if you can hear it anyways okay the reason why i'm getting hair extensions or like putting hair extensions in is because as you can see like my hair i feel like is pretty long like why do i even need to wear hair extensions i don't really have any layers in my hair or literally any of that my hair is super paper thin it is partly bleaching but it's also like i've genetically always had super thin hair like even before i even ever bleached my hair i would wear extensions with my brown hair and i would literally didn't need them i just wore them because i liked thickness the hair extensions that i will be using i am just gonna give a little disclaimer okay they were sent to me however they were sent to me like i'm not even kidding like seven months ago if you guys watch my last hair extension video that i did i actually mentioned these extensions and um i literally still have not dyed them so they are from vp fashion again this video is not sponsored i used to have a coupon code with them but literally i don't even think that even works anymore so if i do i'll put it on the screen and the reason why it took me so long like literally seven months is because i didn't want to waste them because as you guys know this is how dark my hair was in my last video last hair extension video this is how dark my hair was so as you can see there is a fat difference with that now and these are their old hair extensions so the ones that i'm going to be using again if you saw that video the bands of this is really really thin compared to the ones i usually wear from them sorry i'm like trying to find a singular one yeah okay so here is the ones i'm gonna bleach today so i don't know if you can see let's see can see that i don't know if this is literally gonna do anything but this band is like super thick which i used to think was good with thin hair i don't know why i thought that okay it's that's not true and um this one is really thin so i feel like this reminds me of like my og extensions they just blend better with thin hair in my opinion but again i don't know because i've never worn these types of hair extensions but yeah i was holding off because i was waiting to get the right color because again i didn't want to waste the hair extension so that's why it's taking me literally so long and there's like a four track one there is i don't even know like four singular ones i love these especially if you have shorter hair it makes things like this just make it so much easier to blend and then actually no i lied i think there's actually two ones with four yeah and then there is two that have three clips so the color that i use to dye my hair is still this brand now this is the color pink as you can see, this is neon pink. This brand has a hot pink, or I might say neon pink, and a pink. I have used both of them. They are exactly the same, okay? I don't know why this is labeled pink when they have a hot pink, because this is not pink. I mean, it's pink, but it's like very hot, neon-y pink. So if you're looking for like that nice, pinky pastel color that was in my last video. I mean, it wasn't really a nice color. It was like really faded and ugly, but I did get some questions about that hair. It was this, but as you can see, not the same. It was just, it faded. So do keep that in mind. But of course, I went to Sally's and it was sold out. It was sold out last time. This, I've never had a problem with any of my hair dyes selling out. And now all of a sudden, every time I try to get them, they're just sold out. Literally the only one left was the one and only argan oil now i had a lot of questions in my last video or two videos ago where people asked me if they did change the packaging and they did in fact actually change the packaging and let's see if it's going to perform well this by the way is what i used to dye my hair with back in the day and it gives the same color like i think it's exactly the same i'm still gonna mix these two just to make sure maybe like if you do like a side by side there might be like an off color chance but in my opinion i feel like i've never really noticed a big difference so that's why i have no problem mixing them these are my top two favorite brands and the reason why i love them is because this has like coconut oil in it and this has argan oil in it so when i apply it on my hair my hair just feels really conditioned it doesn't feel like really tacky and i find that these two brands make the color last like a lot i've had like i've rec recommended this to a lot of people and even on my youtube like people that i've watched my videos people actually complain that it sticks to their hair so do keep that in mind that these are colors that at least on my hair i've had a really hard time getting it out example with the pinks with the blues with the turquoises i've tried like a lot of different colors comparison 
this is the old packaging and this is the new one. I am literally the worst at showing this, but this is the brand that I literally can't pronounce that starts with an I. I don't know if you could see the color. If I just put this on top, you can very well see kind of like a color difference. There is the color difference of that, but I feel like what's when it's in the hair, it might look just honestly exactly the same. I use like a comb like this and then I just brush out the extensions and try to make them you know as straight as possible and I like these ones because these are again a lot thinner so the old ones that I used had a I swear these cars but the old ones had like a lot more thicker hair so it was a little bit more harder to do it but I pretty much just get some tin foil I laid on the floor. This is how I have always dyed my hair extensions. I'm sure this is not the right method and a lot of people actually like water do their extensions, which I don't even know what that means, but I don't do that just because, I don't know, I do it this way, it's always worked for me. These are like pretty freaking thin, like if I lay it down like this, if I go like this, like you can't really see any extensions. It's not like building it up usually how like the other ones are. So that's why I like these a lot. And I just wash them regularly under the sink. I first put shampoo on them. Now this is the shampoo that I use. It's literally nothing special. This is the same shampoo that I use for my actual hair. Honestly, this kind of smells not as pleasant as you would think. It's like not really a good rose smell, if that makes sense. But I literally just picked this up. I'm pretty sure it was at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I just got it because I had no sulfates, none of that, no parabens. So that's usually what I try to do when I get shampoo. So I liked that and that's what I used. And then something that I use differently for my extensions is actually, I literally don't know how to pronounce this. This is like absorber. I have no idea. It's specifically actually made for hair extensions and this was actually sent to me when the like actual extensions were sent to me. It literally smells kind of like sunscreen but like in a good way like very tropical coconutty and yeah i don't know i like it it's made for hair extensions and of course if you watch my channel you'll know that i really don't wear hair extensions as much like usually my hair is always up so when i do wear them i usually like to curl them and make it all messy but i didn't put any hairspray so my curls are kind of going down as you can see and like you can see some of them like peeking through like this is my real hair but yeah that's pretty much it i mean i don't really have anything else to say i just wanted to show you guys like how different my hair looks when I do have extensions in again I feel like it looks not as good right now, but it's fine. Okay, I'm gonna play around with it And yeah, I guess that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye